Welcome to the video. In this video, I very quickly want to show you a quite a cool little addition that the guys at Brain FPV are bringing out. Now, what there is on the top of the flight controller, and this is the Brain FPV RE1. There's an entire series at the moment currently running where we're setting this up on the channel using Betaflight, and it has a vector-based on-screen display. I am very impressed with this board, but there is a little connector at the top. I'm not sure if you can see that in there. It's difficult with the light that we've got here. But here's a little insert with the arrow pointing towards it. And for those of you that have been looking at the series and wondering what that was, I can now kind of explain it. So this is a little daughter board that snaps on the top of the flight controller. And this little daughter board has the other side of that connector on it and a barometer as well. So if you want to add barometer support to your flight controller, then it's as simple as popping this daughter board on top of the flight controller, positioning it, and then pressing it down into that connector. And then what you can do is go into beta flight and enable the barometer and then suddenly you've got barometer support. Now I did speak to the guys at Brain FPV about whether or not they were going to bring out other peripherals as well. And that port on the top of the flight controller does allow them to do that. Although I don't think we'll be seeing a magnetometer anytime soon because having a magnetometer that close to everything is not a great idea anyway. But I just wanted to show you this. We're not going to use it actually in the build series itself because I'm not bothered at about having a barometer on here, but it's a really cute idea to provide a board that has the sensors on it for basic flight modes, but also have the ability to expand additional sensors just by plugging in a little daughter board. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.